Was there really a dark age? It is common knowledge that the classical age was followed by many centuries of utter stagnation and decline with virtually nothing happening but wars and famine, and the destruction of the priceless ancient monuments. Then, during the Renaissance, the classical authors reappear from oblivion, Latin and Greek become resurrected as the intelligentsia esperanto of the Middle Ages, numerous manuscripts reappear from oblivion to be copied, enter wide circulation, and vanish again, never to be found. How preposterous would it be to suggest that there were no dark ages to separate the antiquity from the Renaissance? That the Renaissance was in fact the nascence of the Western European culture as we know it? It does contradict everything that we may ever have learned about history. However, new methods offered by empirical statistics and developed by Anatoly Fomenko, the Russian mathematician, and his colleagues, provide plenty of evidence to support the theory that the Dark Ages are a phantom. We find lots of spicy morsels in the cauldron of history. Fancy the statue of Marcus Aurelius lost for several centuries and then found by accident on one of the Roman streets. Or senators congregating amongst the ruins of the capital due to their being nostalgic about the great imperial past of the empire. Or the pagan temples turning Christian at the wink of an eye, with the name of the saint coinciding with the name of the pagan deities that these very temples were consecrated to in the mysterious days of yore. How much do we know about the Goths? Those fortunate enough to keep at a sound distance from the historical discourse shall probably think of those numerous Bela Lugosi impersonators who live by their hairspray and their macabre aesthetics. Those who did devote some of their time to tearing through all the insurmountable dogma and inexplicable lacunae in place of vibrant ages and civilizations that one finds in history textbooks will doubtlessly think of Jordanes and Cassiodorus in this respect, and recollect the Goths to have been a group of Germanic tribes who swarmed Europe in the alleged 3rd century AD, and alleged is a key word here, to rape, pillage and terrorize. But how Germanic were they really, and when exactly have they been introduced to us as such? According to Anatoly Fomenko, one of the world's leading mathematicians, the Goths were Slavic through and through. This alone would fail to make a piece of sensational news, however, Fomenko really finds sensational telling us that the Gothic tribes were none other but the biblical nations of Gog and Magog. That might sound like nonsense, after all, don't the Old Testament events date back to times immemorial? However, once you delve into the long-awaited English translation of Fomenko's history, fiction or science, you shall very soon discover that official history is absolutely and completely without competition in terms of making nonsense sound like science. History, fiction or science? is a phenomenal and unprecedented scientific experiment since neither state-of-the-art methods of mathematical statistics nor astronomical data have ever been applied to history before. One would expect such a procedure to yield interesting results, but interesting doesn't remotely approach the results of Fomenko's research. Ancient and medieval history transform into a phantom, leaving us with the historical period of a single millennium to encompass everything from Jesus Christ who is proved to have lived in the 11th century AD to today. Definitely nonsense and positively impossible, you say? Just wait till you get infected with the new chronology mem, and mark our words, looking back at your vehement support of consensual history will be most embarrassing indeed. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? 
Not After You've Read, History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.